Hi everyone, it's Macy, and today is a very special day. Some of you might even be wondering, what's so special about today? Well, today, my friends, is Pokemon's 20th anniversary. Pokemon has always been such a huge thing in my life. Yesterday, February 26th, uh, Pokemon came out with a direct that gave a bunch of new information. One of those things just happens to be a new game. That's right, Gen 7 was confirmed Pokemon Sun and Moon will be coming out. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited about that. Sadly, there was no information on Pokemon Go, but you know, you know I can't, can't complain about it. But today, February 27th, is Pokemon's 20th anniversary. Can you hear that? I hear it. It's the sound of the Pokemon theme. So, to celebrate this day, I will be telling you my Pokemon story. Like I said before, Pokemon has always played such a big role in my life. Whether it's the anime, the manga, the games, the card games, I've always loved it. So most people start with the games, or some people even start with the manga, which is very rare, but I started with the anime. I do recall watching some, like, Hoenn adventures with Ash, May, Max, and Brock. Like, I remember watching a few of those, but when I really, really got interested in Pokemon was when the first Diamond and Pearl episode was released. I remember very clearly. I was six years old, so that's saying something, but I do remember when the episode came out. So I slowly became more and more obsessed with the show. Instead of being like the normal girls in the playground, I would play with the guys. No other girls really liked Pokemon at that time. I did have one friend, but she wasn't in my class. The first time I ever got a deck of Pokemon cards was for my seventh birthday. It was from one of my friends that I would play with on the playground. I just got back from a really long trip, and it was over summer vacation, and I got a card in the mail. I remember it was a homemade card that he had made for me, and in that card was a small deck of Pokemon cards. I still have those cards to this day. That collection then began to take off very quickly, and now it's on my wall. So by this point, I was completely engulfed in Pokemon. And then, I got the games. Now for Christmas, I think it was 2007, my sister got this game. This is one of the Pokemon Ranger games. My sister got this, and she dropped it very quickly because there was a lot of reading and she was only about four. It wasn't until a few months later that I picked the game up, and I managed to finish this within a week. In the summer between fourth and fifth grade, I got my tonsils taken out. And that sucked because it was summertime. Getting your tonsils out equals bedridden, and I really couldn't do anything for the last weeks of my summer. Around that time, Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver came out. My family never had a lot of money growing up, so instead of buying the games for the system, we would just rent them at the movie stores. Seeing how much I liked Pokemon, my dad went out and bought the new Pokemon games. He got Heart Gold for my sister and Soul Silver for me. This was the first Pokemon game that I ever really owned. This game literally means the world to me. This also has one of the most powerful teams on it. I sat for weeks on end and played this game. I wasn't really good at playing Pokemon by this point, but you know, I tried my best. And I ended up defeating Red, which was literally the biggest thing that I had ever done. I was so proud of myself. Johto is my favorite region, and Triflosion has been my favorite Pokemon since. In sixth grade, I actually stopped playing Pokemon because Pokemon became the it's not cool anymore thing, and I was like, well, I want to fit in, so I stopped playing Pokemon. It wasn't until 7th grade when I picked it back up again. 7th grade was also the time when I started drawing again, and I was like, well, Pokemon are cute to draw, so I'm gonna try and draw Pokemon. And so I drew this drawing. I drew what Pokemon were like the most iconic, I guess, and they turned out really well, and I realized that, hey, I like drawing these, and I realized how much I love Pokemon. So basically, I fell back in love with Pokemon. During that time, I also decided to draw myself as a trainer. This was the outcome. <laughs> as you look at it right now, this isn't my best work. At the time, I thought it was the coolest thing. Since then, the design for my character has definitely changed a lot. Yesterday, I decided to redraw this drawing, and I redrew myself with my original team. I know you can't really see it that well, but I'm very proud of it. I've come a long way since then. The next games that I got were Pokemon X and Y. I know that's a big jump from Soul Silver, but I never really got into the other ones. Of course I've played them now. Yeah, I don't own them, but I have actually rented them from the video store 
in a town next door to mine. But uh, I've played them now, and I do love Gen 5 and Gen 4. Me coming so late into the Pokemon, like, fandom family thing. I never got to play on the original games. So, red, blue, yellow. And I was never be able to play the original uh, silver and gold. I was never able to play emerald and sapphire and ruby. So when Pokemon Auras was announced, I was so hype, okay? Yes, I can finally play this, I can play it now, and I was so happy. And that's when I got Pokemon Omega Ruby. I felt so connected to these characters. Steven Stone is now my favorite champion, okay? I love him. Unlike X and Y, I actually felt connected to these characters, and I felt connected to the story. And so that's basically my history with all the games. So thank you for watching my Pokemon story. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. So happy 20th Pokemon and bye!